Making her way around doing a check this morning. We've got a we got this morning, we've got a seven o'clock brig house this morning. I'm trying to do some tests to see how the stabilization turns out on this because it's been a hit a bit hit a miss on this camera doing checks in this yard. We have been struggling with it. Around the other side to check the rest of it quickly before the lights turn off and I've got a cam with a puddle. Turn them back on again. Just like run run run. <laughs> oh the lights changed. I have to try and reach into the cab to get them back on again. Try and avoid the massive puddle. Look at that. Oh, love this job at times. And I've got it again getting out. There we go. Alright, we'll try again. Hopefully this all turns out alright. Make sure that the lights work. Just squeeze down the back. Good. We're good. Let's tear away at this box recently too. Yeah, so we've got that seven o'clock rig out back into Leeds. Then we're picking up a trailer that I dropped yesterday. In here an empty box on to go load at Huddersfield. That's down to um Felix though then today. So there we go, check's done, we'll get on with the way. On the day, even. Uh, we're back in the car, we're just building up some air pressure this morning at the minute. Still a bit low, we've been sat here nearly 14 hours now. But yeah, it will be 14 hours at 4 o'clock yesterday we parked up. So we're just building up our air. Just level out, I do tip suspension back in this yard, it's not the flattest yard. Alright. Let's get on the way. It's only a 17 mile drive over to Brig House this morning, so we're not that bad. She's coming up to five past six as we're leaving the yard. Just making sure everything's set up how I like it for it. That temperature up, yeah. Blowing out freezing cold air this morning. Back away from over there. I've not done this job before, but I've had friends that have done it before and they said it's okay. Fairly easy in and out job. So that'll do for me. I've done the Huddersfield one before, Neil Brothers over there. It's outside of Huddersfield near Home Firth. So it's an okay job. It's um, a bit fiddly, but if you can get parked up straight away as you get there, it makes your job a hell of a lot easier. So that'll be our plan when we get there, just get parked up as soon as we can. And then um, walk down and see them and then we're not causing any trouble or aggro there. So, be happy days for me. Make a way out of here now. Struggled getting up this morning, I really could have stayed in bed. Didn't want to get up at all. Oh, we dragged myself out of bed. Yeah, dragged myself out of bed and up and away. Get this covered. Try and get a couple of hours in overtime today as well. 
it'll all come all come in handy, all come in nicely. But I will get off for now and give you an update closer to this job in Brig House. Right, so we are loaded in the minute. We're stuck on the M62 now, just left. Not long ago, not long ago a couple of minutes ago. I was straight in at the job, so I'm running low on pump space on my card as well on my main camera, so I've managed to managed to clear some things off of it and create some space. We're all in and out in 20 minutes. Anyway, so we're just coming up to 10 to 8. We're stuck in rush hour traffic on the 62. We've asked for an 8 o'clock VBS, which is active now. We've got Freightliner to get this box lifted off. And then we're straight around to the yard, drop it, pick ours up. Other one, the one that I'd had yesterday, that I've delivered dropped in there and then we are back to Huddersfield with it. It's going to make it a um, tight one I think. Has to do for 10 o'clock is Huddersfield but you know what can we do? We can only play with the traffic that we've got can't we so but we'll get on see how long this takes to get through and catch you up. Just drop the trailer off the state of truck. Get that washed the other day. Look at that. It's boring it. You just can't keep them clean at the minute. Well, that's what we dropped that other trailer. We got boxed off straight away. We walked up back to this one again. I'll put a clip in. We know it's an alright trailer. We dropped it the other day. Just make sure that's Still airing the tyres, it's been Saturday now. Let's tear away to this one. 2280 it is tear weight. It's the empty weight, we've already put the reg on. I'm gonna drop the other one just down there. And again, just make sure all the locks are still around and that on it, and we're good to go. Puddles everywhere in this yard, that's why the truck's so dirty. We just can't keep it clean, can we? Legs up, me wet through as well. We will quickly get connections on and then we're away oh. try and slide this out but it's slightly bent is this one so we've got to try and do must be yeah it is, it's bent must have loosened it up earlier we to get most of our connections on Oh, you probably can't see much down there anyway. It's a bit low there, and I should have put it on the trailer. Oh well. I won't know until I'm editing how it looks, but you've seen it all before anyway. This and the other videos. Check a light and then we're good to go for another journey. Shut that locker. Lights on. Here we go. We're all working here. Get that trailer break off. 
so we can actually move. Make sure these are working. And we're good on that front. So let's get on to Huddersfield. Right, that is just one mile away from here. Right in the sticks a little bit now, but it's not that bad out here. I know where I'm coming up. I've probably done this job about 10 times. Slow down for the horse. It's not ideal, we're on a very janky road. There we go, we're past. Yeah, Looking at that horse, we're alright on the road, it's a bit it's a bit bumpy along here and we've got an empty trailer on so these do make a lot of noise it's obviously metal banging against metal and just booms a lot so all we can do we'll just slow down and take it wide luckily we had a good vision of the road ahead on that hill so that's all good there's no wagons that's come all the way yet i'll try and warn a wagon if it's coming but the horse could have turned off by now, so... Yeah, we're coming up to quarter to ten at the minute, so we're on time. It's a bit of a shock, considering traffic usually in the morning there, at Leeds. So we're happy at that, just round this bend. Is where we're going. The sun keeps trying to come out, but it's raining a bit. I don't mind if it rains, it can wash that mud off the side of the wagon. If it wants, I'll be happy at that. It's actually just on our left here. Where it is, just going to be here. The roads aren't smooth at all anywhere at the minute. I think there's more potholes than roads. We are just turning here. It's a tight one. Gotta keep, you gotta keep looking to see if there's oak coming up. Oh, but the wagon parked on tripping bend. Oh, what a good place to stop. Stop for cafe. There we go, we're through. I don't know where we're gonna stop though. to go past the job looks like <sighs> this is what's awful about this well where can I stop here there isn't anywhere to stop I'm just gonna have to, I've had to go past the job now to pull up here which is poor very poor um, I'll go in and see him they have got another gate down here, I don't know if they might get me in there, you see. Can always try, but I'll get off and I'll go see them and we'll see what we can find out. Alright, that is just, just getting out of here. Let's have quickly sort my sat nav out. Where we're going, get it calculating. Wasn't so bad in there really in the end. Managed in and out quite quickly. Just coming up to 20, 25 past 11 at the moment. As we make our way to Felixstowe now. I managed to get half an hour outside of that job before I went in. Which made life a bit more comfortable. As we try and get out of here. This wagon's letting us go. So we are 236 miles to Felixstowe. Got us there at 10 past 4 at current time. I'm uh, just trying to decide whether I'm going to get the containers off tonight. I should be able to get the box off tonight. I maybe even run it somewhere to park up as I've got 2 hours and 7 driving left. So if I can get down so I'm 3 hours away from the dock a bit more maybe two and three quarter hours from the dock that will give me just 
just over an hour and a half of driving left. By the time we get down there to get back up to Risby possibly tonight. So that's the plan I think at the minute. So I'll go phone the office and let them know what my plan is and what time I want a VBS down at Felix Stowe. And we'll, we'll go from there. work for tomorrow um, I totally forgot on Tuesday that I said I can do another Saturday again for them so they managed to get me one as well by the looks of it we've got a half past ten in the morning Norwich I've never been to Norwich no, don't think anyway so that's at half past ten in the morning so we'll get down to Felixstowe get this box lifted off the empties out of Elder Point which I think shuts at 5 o'clock or 6 so we're probably going to miss that so I'll uh, get this off and I'll just park in the dock tonight um, I'll be empty trailer so I'll get out in the morning probably start at 7 get around there box on up there for half 10 and then that's going down to London Gateway tomorrow so it'll probably be drive time tomorrow that'll make it a run in on Saturday morning well, oh, that's fine by me. It's guaranteed five hours for a Saturday morning running, so we can. That's all good for me. Just have a bit of a lazy day on Saturday. Then I was going to go out to an event, but I'm out next weekend. I've heard my band again watching them play. I think it's an, like an outdoor festival for a brewery, so that should be fun. I'll try and film that now that I've got my new phone a good camera on so we can definitely get that filmed and try and document that a bit better than I've done in the past and put out some different content and then we'll be good to go so that's the plan at the minute I'm going to get off and um, get down here and find a lay by and then I'll update you later on down the road uh, we've just been into Colstoworth truck stop here on the A1 Making our way out now, I've just nipped to the toilet and got some diesel. So we're full on diesel now for the rest of the week. We don't have to worry about that now. We're 127 miles away from Felix Stowe at the minute. Five past three at the moment. Make our way around here. Try and get out. So we We'll get on now, get down there, flat out all the way. The minute has me there, 5.34, I'm aiming for about half five, because I know we're gonna need diesel. So if we can get down there for around half past five, we're all good. If they give me okay, I can park in the dock tonight, because I won't get the box on tonight, the empty one out of Elder Point. It's half five, they shut. So we can get in there, get parked up, and then start at seven o'clock in the morning to get on with our Friday. So that should be all good. It's nice and quiet in the dock, it's not too bad. I've parked in there once before, it's all right. Will be a empty trailer as well, so that certainly helps so we can get everything set up for tomorrow morning then mainly get the trailer stretched and the pins up they might fall down but you can at least get 90% of the leg work done there we 
we go, we're back out onto the A1. Back up to top speed near enough. So yeah, I'll get on and get these miles hammered out now. Get this done in one hit now, all being well. And update you at Felixstowe. There we go, coming down to Felixstowe. So it's been a long drive down. Just felt long because we've had a break and stopped a few times on the way for diesel and that. It's coming up to 20 to 6 at the moment. So I've had a mostly clear run down once I got onto the M1 and everything like that. It's been an alright run. I've been happy with that. Get into the dock. BBS is active. We get two hours down here on the BBS, so. So yeah, we get two hours on it, so we're easily in the window. Should hopefully get this lifted off fairly quickly. Get parked up on the dock and booked off by half past six. I'm unsure what time I'm going to start in the morning. I'll see what how far away and how long it's going to take to get to this job in the morning. Imagine it's going to be about an hour and a half drive. So. Looks like it's some packaging firm that we're going to picking up from to head down to London Gateway with. It's a 40 foot box, a full size box. So we'll get the trailer sorted out and set up tonight. It's just starting to cool down a bit as that sun is 21 degrees at the moment, which is nice. Which is very nice. straight in here hopefully it's straight off but if I'm waiting a little bit I'm waiting a little bit Hunter so I'm parking in the dock anyway so that's all good there we go port of Felix still the port of Britain with not many facilities around it to be fair <laughs> not much for parking every haulage firm wants a depot down here that does contain there's not enough room for them it's a bit of a bit of a, a mad one but what can we do we say we've got a yard down here but it, it isn't nice it's not a good yard so I try and avoid it at all costs if I can hence why parking inside of the dog down a bit here for this round this junction here sat nav off now it's it always takes me postcode for this one comes down at for the dock comes down at the other gate that's a police station and that down there where you get your <coughs> you get your um, card from to get in that's gate one always takes me there so we always we're going to Trinity there's two terminals at Felixstowe there's Trinity which is this one at gate two and Langard which is up at gate number one we're into Trinity for this one and then we can get around the corner and park up there as well so happy days like we've got we up Turner's on Gold Star which is the yard that's on the right here now but we're not allowed to park in there even though there'll be no one in it all night it's a bit frustrating I think McIntyre are who Turner's own as well McIntyre are allowed to park in there but Turner's are strange reason god knows why but it is what it is just skin off my nose i'll park inside of here it's all right in here we get to watch train come in and out at times and it's fairly quiet so plus i can run engine as well if it gets too warm but there you go so i'll get off and go get these this box off and get parked up and update you when i'm parked up Alright, so we've actually got the box off now. We're just on our way up the other side of the dock to park up. Crane were waiting for me near enough. He were just looked like he just started his shift, so we we're only about four positions up from him, off them. And then he was um, lifted straight off, so I'm happy with that. Just coming up to six o'clock. 
time I've got my paperwork printed for tomorrow morning and my time sheet and that right out and all my paperwork sorted we were looking at half past six book off which is 13 hours so that's all that is always nice certainly always nice so we'll get up here it's gonna park go around turn around then we're gonna park on the other side of the road here behind uh, probably behind the one with the box on I think and then we're not we parked properly then but it's quiet tonight there's usually a lot park here so I don't know where everyone is seriously don't know where everyone is there we go we'll just spin it around here like I say there's a lot parking here so I know I'm gonna be all right here so we'll just get into just tuck in here I think I say it's right next to the railway line but it ain't a busy railway line they're all right so we'll get in here and there we go this will do us for the night I'll quickly sort trailer out as well so it's set up for the morning so we are all good to go then in the morning so we can uh, get straight down to the job once we've got this container on in the morning I'll probably start I think I'll start at 7 I think it opens at 7 this held a point start at seven into there probably a half seven out for eight gives two and a half hours then to get over to the job to allow for any serious traffic and then we'll be all good to go so the job will be covered so if you've enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel please it really does help us grow and get a good uh, get good momentum going for the channel and um, we've got a lot of content coming from this we're going to start splitting the editing for these videos because I'm struggling to keep up with with demand you know when you're parking up at uh, today's not so bad at six o'clock now it's seven o'clock starting in the morning it's 13 hours so I can get a video done easily tonight but when we're parked up I'm having nine hours off it's two hours of editing is seven hours off by the time we've had something to eat and all that lot it's you struggle for sleep so yeah, so I'm going to keep starting this footage over to my dad and then he's going to keep editing some footage for this channel as well for the rest of the days of the trucking videos but I'll get off for now and until next time I'll see you later on.